that's all right, I dance in circles, probably around you. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hip-hop dance scenes in movies. I've been working on let me get it. For this list, we'll be looking at memorable hip-hop choreographed dance scenes in films that had us wanting to drop everything to pop lock and dance. Which of these scenes had you up on your feet doing the nay-nay and cheering yay for? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Sarah Johnson and Derek Reynolds display dance at the club. Save the last dance. Ain't nobody watching you but me. Following the unfortunate passing of her mother, Sarah Johnson is uncomfortably forced to move in with her father, who she doesn't know so well, in the south side of Chicago. As one of the only Caucasian students at her new high school, Sarah strives to fit into surroundings that are severely different from the suburbia she is used to. She confides in newfound friend Derek Reynolds, who helps her merge his hip-hop choreography with her uptight ballet style. Although the two may come from completely different worlds, Sarah and Derek's chemistry is undeniable in this lovable dance scene. When the two put their backs into it and perform their iconic choreography at Steps Nightclub, they prove that this should not be the last dance for this pair. <laughs> Number 9. Ain't My Type of Hype – House Party This classic of the New Jack Swing era brings us an irresistible dance scene. With his parents out of town, Peter Play Martin does what any self-respecting fictional teenager would do. He throws an epic party. The house is full and the music is hot when Play's best friend Christopher Kid Robinson arrives. The two waste no time in getting into the party spirit. Not everyone is so impressed though. The ensuing dance battle is just pure fun to watch. Is that a challenge? I think it is. As the duo Duo's trade sweet moves, the easygoing competition and fancy footwork creates an infectious energy that jumps off the screen. This scene would make anyone want to get off the couch and join in. Number 8. Kelly Bennett is introduced to breakdancing. Break in! The 1980s saw the rise of street dance in popular culture, and Breakin' was one of the movies that helped take it mainstream. When formerly trained dancer Kelly is brought to see Breakers Ozone and Turbo on the Venice Beach boardwalk, she gets her first taste of a whole new way to move. Come on, let's do some of this stuff we do in class. Oh no, you Go kidding? It. Come on, it'll be fun. The scene shows off the best of early hip-hop dance, including popping and locking, b-boying, and more. With a little encouragement, Kelly joins in in the action after a few minutes with her very different style. The other dancers are welcoming though. It's a taste of the collaborative, improvisational nature that is so key to street dance. It's also the first of many classical meets hip hop scenes that would become so common in the dance film genre. Thanks for the dance. Sure, anytime. Maybe we'll see you again, huh? Maybe. And who knows? With a little work, you'll be popping and locking and breaking in no time. Number seven. Honey Daniels dances at the club where she works. Honey. Remembered for its hip-hop influenced storyline, this film's intro immediately captures our attention and narrows in on the talented moves of aspiring choreographer Honey Daniels. Jessica Alba's character is motivated and career-driven. She works three jobs and wants to open a new studio for her young protégés. But in order to be able to afford it, she decides to host and choreograph a dance benefit. Though it challenges her mother's hopes that she instruct a more profitable style of dance, Honey wants nothing more than to be a hip-hop choreographer. And she is eventually noticed by music director Michael Ellis when he watches a video recording of her busting out the very same moves that captivated our eyes in this opening scene. Whatever she said, then I'm mad. If this here rocks to y'all, then we laugh. 
Number six, Robert Moose Alexander III and crew light up the stage. Step up 3D. Dance battles are a staple in hip hop culture and the third installment of the Step Up franchise packs cutting edge moves that light up the stage. After breaking the promise he made to his dad to leave dancing behind, Moose is recruited by Luke Catcher to yet another dance troupe, the House of Pirates. Coming face to face with rival crew House of Samurai, the teams throw down in this suspenseful scene as they compete for the $100,000 contest prize at the World Jam Championships. With the support of Natalie, Camille, Moose's troop members from the previous chapter in the Step Up Saga, and the Pirates, Luke's squad crushes the floor and obliterates their competitors with their illuminating two-step. Number five, Dance Off Betrayal. You got served. You never lose, why start now? With pride and $5,000 on the line, the tension was palpable in this scene. Challenged by spoiled rich kid Wade, David and Elgin, along with their crew, the Lil' Saints, arrive prepared to show off some serious skills. They get a nasty shock when one of their own steps onto the floor and joins Wade's crew. Yo, Sonny, what's up, man? Yo, Elgin, I forgot to tell you, man. We got a surprise guest for you. Determined to shake it off, the Lil' Saints open the battle with an impressive impressive set, but the hits keep coming when they see their own choreography being performed at them by the opposing team, revealing that their former friend has sold them out to Wade. To be fair, they are really amazing moves, and though the tempers keep climbing, the dancing on both sides stays cooler than cool. You're just mad, because tonight you suckers got served. Number four, walk it out, stomp the yard. Though the star of this movie is the excellent stepping sequences, Stomp the Yard also gave its lead Columbus Short time to show off his hip hop prowess. What city you represent? I ain't reppin' nothing, just me. As college freshman Darnell, Short takes the floor at a local nightclub in an effort to impress Megan Good's April and maybe stick it to the Mu Gamma Xi fraternity guys for good measure. He employs an impressive variety of styles, playing to the crowd as he taunts the Gammas. Oh snap, is he clown in St. Louis? Is he clown? With a strong connection to the music, and a masterful control of his physicality while he glides around the circle, Short almost makes it look easy. Almost. It's a standout moment in a film with a lot of memorable moves. Oh, he did. Yes, he did. Number three, Roxy Battle, Beat Street. Set in the birthplace of breaking, this story follows a group of friends who all exemplify some part of the early hip hop culture. For many audiences, Beat Street was their first introduction to this movement that was flourishing in the South Bronx, particularly to the world of breakdance battles. What an introduction it was. In this mind-blowing scene, individual crew members take to the floor to show off their very best. and they hold nothing back. From flips to flares to rapid fire footwork, it's all there. It's a fantastic showcase of the creativity, energy, and near superhuman athleticism of this dance style. It's no wonder that breakdancing took off the way it did in the years that followed. Number two, Tyler Gage performs with Nora Clark at the Senior Showcase, Step Up. Dwayne Adler kickstarts his dance series with this feel-good romantic drama. While working off community service hours for vandalizing the Maryland School of Arts, Tyler Gage begins to help Nora Clark, a student at the Academy, with her senior showcase audition. The two begin to develop feelings for each other, but obstacles like the return of Nora's former partner and Tyler's departure get in the way. When Tyler unexpectedly appears at the senior showcase, Nora has a change of heart and all ultimately permits Tyler to perform their previously rehearsed piece.
In this enduring scene, the world could feel the chemistry between Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan's characters as they danced across the auditorium together and set the bar extremely high for the future of hip hop choreography. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ballet vs. Hip Hop, Street Dance 3D. Amy Townsend wins Dr. Aaron Connors back with the New York Knicks City Dancers, Trainwreck. <laughs> Tyler Gage and Andy West dance off in the club. Step up to the streets. Quinn Ackerman performs with TBDs at Work It, Work It. Rhea Green is challenged to a step battle. How she move. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Grandmaster Flash – Wild Style Respect must be paid to the OG of the genre. The first ever hip hop film might be considered a deep cut, but there's nothing that can beat it in terms of historical relevance. This brief scene allows a glimpse of early hip hop in its purest form. Performing outside on a rollout mat, the dancers bust out the moves that are now recognizable as the fundamentals of breakdance. Not to mention the fact that it's all set over the pioneering scratching of hip hop legend Grandmaster Flash. At first glance, this sequence might not seem as eye-catching as some others, but considering how heavily it influenced everything that came after it, it seems fair to say that this scene isn't just great, it's revolutionary. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.